Hi everyone, I'm Ellie from Code of the Future and today I'm going to be continuing with the NumPy tutorial series in Python by showing you how you can search in arrays. So as usual, I'm going to jump straight into the video and move you onto the screen. Okay, cool. So we are in PyCharm as usual and I've created a Python file called NumPy Tutorial 10 because that is the tutorial we are on today and we are going to be searching in arrays. So as usual, I have imported the relevant modules, so we import NumPy as NP. Now, if you are unfamiliar with how to import or install NumPy, as I say in every video, I mentioned that in the first video. So if you are unfamiliar, then I'd recommend just checking that video out just to make sure that you've installed everything correctly. Cool. So there we go. We're going to jump straight into showing you how to search in arrays. So what I'm going to say here is we can search in a given array to tell whether an element is located in there or you know whether it exists kind of thing so very simple example I'm just going to create a one-dimensional array we'll call it let's just call it array one and we'll say np dot array as usual because that's the notation to create um, an array we'll just say in three let's let's create some random numbers in here one two three four let's have some repeated uh, let's go four again six eight nine nine and hmm, doesn't have to be in order let's go eight cool so we've got this array now what we could do is we can search within this array and find out whether a given value you know occurs so the way that we do that is we'll say and i'll just put here finding if a given value is in this array so we'll say let Hmm. let's call it location just you know this could be called x or y but i'm just trying to keep the variables kind of assigned with what we're doing so location let it equal np where so this is what we'll use this where in numpy you just type in here array one we're going to let that double equal to now in here we're going to insert the value that we want to test whether it's in there so let's go We've got four a few times, well, a couple of times, let's put four and then let's ask Python to print the location and we'll show you what this does. So let's run the Python file. Let's just drop this up here. Cool. So Python produces array three, four. Now, obviously this notation isn't, isn't, it's not the nicest, I guess. Um, obviously, if we were to recall the kind of index in this, in this tuple, it would look a lot, a lot nicer but this simply what it's saying to us is okay well the number four is located in this array and it's located at index three and at index four so index zero one two three four cool so this is exactly what this np where does so we know exactly where where four is located cool now something that you could do and this is just kind of thinking on the top of my head say yeah i don't know for in a real life example say you have i always use this example but say you have um shoe sizes of, of university students and you wanted to test whether let's say somebody had size 11 shoes or maybe size three or you know something that's kind of away from the mean value you could do that you could find out exactly whether somebody does have that shoe size for example so you know you'd put 11 in here if you wanted to shoe size 11 for example and you'd find put 11 in here for example you know if we run this obviously you don't get anything because 11 isn't in this and the idea is that you then can see whether that number is in that array and whereabouts it's located cool so obviously 11 doesn't work because 11 isn't in this array but we'll just stick to four we'll run it and cool it tells us exactly where it is located so i'll put here this prints and we'll just copy it just for consistency and this tells us that i'll just drop that down that the number four is located at index three and index four cool okay so there we go that is exactly how you can locate a given element within an array and tell whether it does indeed have that element in the array now what's quite nice about this where is you can do more than just locate whether an element is in an array 
So let's say, for example, I wanted to know, we'll create a new variable, we'll call it less than, hmm, let's say five, okay. And again, this can simply be an X value. I just, I like to use, assign my variables to something that makes a little bit sense to what's going on. Um, I've learned that throughout my, my kind of coding, I suppose, journey um that it makes a lot more sense when you look at something after not having looked at it for a while and you think well what does x equal here you know it doesn't make sense whereas less than five obviously as you guessed it we're just going to try and see which values in here are less than five so we'll say np dot where now we'll take the same array so array one we'll say less than five cool and we'll ask python to print less than five we'll run this okay nice so as before we get given you know an array and it tells us that the values that are less than five in this array are at index zero one two three and four and obviously they are we can we can see that so that's cool you know you don't have to just do equals we've got less than and it goes just beyond telling you know things are less than or, or equal to you can find out whether there are certain values in this array that are divisible by a certain element. So let's um, see if elements in this array are divisible by, let's say three, just because three is a little bit of an obscure number. So what we'll say is divisible by three. Now something to mention, obviously I said that I like to create my variables so that they're they're intuitive and I can tell what's going on. Sometimes, you know, try avoid really, really long variables like this. This is just because then you can understand, this is kind of more for, I suppose, the people watching it benefit because then you can see, okay, this this is exactly what we're doing here. So yeah, don't don't write a lot. You know, it can be a bit of a nightmare trying to figure out what's, what's a variable and, and what's text. So cool, divisible by three and you can probably guess what we're going to do. So np.where will say array one. Now, if you haven't watched my beginner kind of videos on Python and you're not familiar with how to, to you know, divide by variables, divide by numbers, this is a modular sign here and it's essentially just saying we'll divide by a number. So let's say three and you take array one. So values in array one divide by three and then if that remains that's left over is equal to zero, we know it's obviously divisible because if you take three divided by three, which we know is divisible by three, you get remainder zero. Cool. So divisible by three, np dot where array one, when we divide it by three equals zero. And we're just going to say print divisible by three. Let's see which values are divisible by three. Oh, cool. Okay. Let's see what we had. Nice. So it's telling us index two. So zero, one, two it's saying five three four five and it's saying seven and eight six seven eight and obviously we know three six nine are all divisible by by three okay cool so this video you know has has been a little bit short but it's essentially just showing you how you can search in arrays and how it does extend a lot further than just finding whether a given value is in an array we can do a whole range of different things you know what i think is nice about searching in arrays is it's such an easy way of finding if a specific value is in is in an array and obviously i'm a mathematics student so for me I, you know my, my mind wanders a little bit i think about how we can incorporate maths into this and how you know you can take arrays and here div divide divided by three and obviously this can get so much more complicated and you can test it and to me i think that's pretty cool so yeah, that is the video today. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, then please like, subscribe and comment and I will see you all in the next video.